One of the amazing experiences that I've been able to have is that every year is this amazing group of actors that I get to bring together, and this year is no exception. The casting process is always fun. We are not going for traditional casting, and I think that is a nod to the Coens. What do you know? It's a party. Getting sent a script of Fargo is something that, as an actor, I think you are terrified of. <laughs> but also unbelievably excited by it because there are so many amazing challenges as an actor that Fargo offers. I guess if there was a perp in the commode. When we first kicked off the season, we had a cast get together. And as we hung out, I was able to smile and say to them, this won't last, winter is coming, and be ready for it. No kidding. That's so much of Fargo. We invite our cast to spend the winter with us in that frozen tundra. And what we see is all these relationships come to life before our eyes. Are you crying? No. There's always some place you feel safe. And I think you really believe when you watch Juno and David, it's such a great family that you just want to spend time with. I, I just want to play for hockey in my socks with Scott Egan and watch Real Housewives. I know. How do you approach a role like Dorothy Lyon? It was one that I had amazing guidance with, with Noah and also Tom Bazooka. They really helped me create a backstory for Dot. She is a biscuit-making, home-loving family woman that just loves her daughter and loves her husband. Oh, what's going on down there? I'm a wedgie. <laughs> At the same time, she has this incredible ability to get out of really scary situations or booby trap a house in a way that, as Juno, I now feel like I could do my own home security. So she's not ever just being hunted. She can also be the one hunting. We should get a shotgun oh. and maybe a pistol for the bedroom. Oh. And maybe we could replace my taser too. And I don't know, maybe some kind of net. Just in case they, uh... A net? I feel like Wayne, I came in with one idea and then it's just been evolving. The first audition, it's just you and your ideas and then you start talking to Noah and then you meet Juno. And you're like, oh wow, this is who Dot is. But then that changes Wayne. And then you go, oh okay, this is what he wears. This is a little different than I thought, but this gives me ideas. My son needs a slap and I'm not there to give it to him. So as my attorney, I authorize you to knock his fucking block off. No. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Huh? His charm, his sweetness, his love of his wife is so undeniable. But he's trying to figure out who Dot really is because she reveals herself to have a past that he certainly didn't know about. Tell me her name again. Goes by Dorothy Lyon now. Lives in a suburb outside the Twin Cities. Husband owns a car dealership, some kind of a Korean model. Koreans make cars? I guess. A person who considers himself above all laws but gods. It's an interesting person to play. And the insane amount of narcissism and privilege and all of the things that go through that, it's fun to play, but you realize that you're playing someone who basically considers himself god. It's a very scary place to be, I think, for anybody that comes into contact with them. Does my discussing matters of state and moist repose bother you? Roy Tillman is a very bad man. He's lived in a world where he always gets his way. He wants Dot. Dot doesn't want to be taken. You better sleep with both eyes open because nobody takes what's mine. And Jennifer Jason Lee is kind of the third spoke of that wheel. In this role, she just kills it. I smell a rat. For Jennifer Jason Lee, there was a kind of withering disdain in this role that I just thought she has encapsulated so well in a very American way. Where's my granddaughter? I'm here, Nana. Where? Right here. How progressive. Let's put the cross dresser in the center. Noah creates these characters, which on the page are brilliant but there's a group of actors here who are really great at taking those and kind of filling the Fargo world with them. And there's a kind of certain amount of theatrical license I think you have in this series, which for any actor worth their soul, it's really exciting.